My name's Aaron Becker. I'm the author and illustrator of the Journey Trilogy and my new book, A Stone for Sasha. It tells the story of a young girl coming to terms over the loss of her pet dog. And it does so with the help of some pretty big ideas. World history, ancestry and heritage, even cosmology and geology make their appearance in the book as we follow a stone from deep within the Earth's crust across the rise and fall of ancient empires until it finds its way into the girl's hands as a polished stone. Starting with the end papers, we know we're in for a ride. We see the stone's path as it makes its way not only over vast continents, but centuries as well. Once you've read the book with your students, you can split them into groups and have them explore the different eras and civilizations they've witnessed. How are these time periods connected? What people were living there? Who were they trading with, and how did power ultimately change hands, taking the rock along with it? This all ties into something more personal, of course, heritage. The girl is connected to the history in the book, but not just through the stone she discovers. Her parents have ancestral links to the worlds the stone travels through. Have your students look for clues in the book that speak to this heritage. You can then have your class reflect on objects or stories in their own lives that link them to their personal history. How do these connect them to their past and the larger world? Of course, there's an even more personal topic in A Stone for Sasha. Grief. This is a tough one to tackle, and my hope is that this book will provide an entry point for your students. Have them look under the dust jacket. What do they see there? Does it give them a clue as to who Sasha might be? And does it bring up memories of loss in their own lives? What rituals have they created for themselves to help process sadness and grief? What began as a simple picture book has now become a complex exploration for each child. See if you can use the book to lead your students into a deeper understanding of the world they live in and the unique person that they are. For an in-depth look into the making of a stone for Sasha, head over to storybreathing.com. <laughs>